Hello again. Uh, following World War One, so many German males were lost in combat that the Third Reich period brought in a, a campaign which, in order to get more German mothers to have more children for the Third Reich and ensure the safety and the future of the Third Reich, they issued a set of medals called the Mother's Cross or the Cross of Honour of the German Mother. These crosses were in first class, second class, third class, gold, silver, bronze, no relation to any precious metal. So what they issued was gold, silver and bronze. Now the idea was first class gold was for eight or more kids, second class silver was for six or seven kids, third class bronze was for four or five kids. There was also one with diamonds which is only ever awarded once to a mother in Dresden for having 16 kids. That Dresden medal came up for auction in 2013, purportedly part of the Deschler Horde. Do Google the Deschler Horde. But I don't know what it made at auction because there was no supporting evidence that it was genuine. Now this set of medals was issued on the 21st of May 1939. However, sometime in 1939, along comes first class, second class, third class. Another set of medals, exactly the same, for exactly the same purpose. But, with German bureaucracy being what German bureaucracy is, the early set of medals, which were only issued in 39, had Das Kinde Adelt die Mutter, the child ennobles the mother, and a facsimile of Hitler's signature. The common medal, issued from 39 to 44, which you may have in your collection, is this one. They changed the inscription on the back, to 16th of December 1938 and Hitler's signature. 16th of December 1938 was the date the medal was inaugurated. So that medal reverse is more commonly found today than that medal reverse. Now my theory is when those people were issued the first series of medals, when the second series came in, they merely exchanged these ones for those ones. That's why these ones are more commonly found than those ones today. Um, the medals are in plated gold, plated silver and plated bronze. No relation to any precious metal at all. Um, some things you need to watch out for with these medals today is that the sign of a good medal is the medals are made in two parts. They are die struck, they are not moulded. The actual medal itself is one piece striking. The circular medallion with the swastika and... The Deutsche Mutter is another separate striking. So that medallion is a separate piece that is brazed onto a flat section on this cross. Now because it's only brazed on, after World War II, because it was a Nazi party award, it was never awarded as a 1957 medal. However, because that centre medallion is brazed on, a knife blade poked under there and a quick flick, this whole medallion would pop off. So technically, you could have a denazified medal. Also, there is a variation made by jewellers where the back of the medal has a pin attachment so you can wear it as a brooch. Originally, they were issued with a long neck ribbon, which you very seldom get a long neck ribbon with them nowadays because dealers being dealers, they cut them up into small ribbon-sized ribbons to give the impression they were worn as a hanging medal. But they were never worn on the, on the, on the breast of a uniform jacket. They were always a neckwear ribbon. So having one of these with no ribbon nowadays is no big deal. So like I said, just something to watch out for. It's always a two-piece striking. You notice the quality of the enamelling. The arms, the points of the arms, that is to say, these points of the arms always come to a point. These are always pointed. They are never rounded. Okay. And also if you hold the metal endways on, it should have kind of flat section, curve, flat section so it comes round in a in an invisible curve okay it does not go perfectly flat from end to end it's curved something else you need to watch out for when you turn it sideways on there is no mold line that runs down the center of the metal that's because it's a die struck metal no mold line anywhere at all should be visible on these metals and the quality of the enamel um, on modern day fakes coming out of Poland, only the very base of the metal has a thin coating of enamel on it. The rest of the enameling on a fake will be made up to the, to the level of the metal with 
um, clear resin. And they are quite, quite easy to spot. So that's the first issue award, the second issue award, gold, silver, bronze, gold, silver, bronze. This one, the gold wash is partially worn off. The gold wash is intact on that one. So all the medals are the same, apart from what's on the back of them. And I've got those two the wrong way around. Gold, silver, bronze, that's the way they fall together. So yeah, early, common late one. That's the gold. Early, common late one. That's the silver. Early, common late one. That's the bronze. All made, two piece medals. Separate medal, separate centerpiece. Different inscriptions on the back indicate the particular type of issue that one is harder to find than that one but if you see them in a show in a cabinet they all look the same from the front but if you see them in a show at the cabinet it's always best to look at the back because the guy selling it may not know the significance of why there's different inscriptions on the back so they'll never be rare they are quite common and dealers sell them by by condition so that's the mother's cross cross of honor of the german mother first second third class type one and the more common type two variant bye for now